ハロー。And welcome to your another fact video featuring stats and s e e n b e i n t r i l IFU happened to accidentally stumble across this video. p e a c e a TO hit that mother fucking like button on the way out. IFU caught RE here because you support the contents WE bring you. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Not to be confused with the usual Hito from Dragon Ball Super, ladies and gentlemen, because today we are talking about the boy Mecha Naruto. Eight facts? Let's get it. What in the actual fuck was that? Like, a public service announcement first. That's what you did last time. Now you have a, a Japanese speaking bot? Like, stats. What is this? Is this a circus? Oh, I don't even know what to say. Say Savage, Day Savage, your boy Shino Bentro was popping. Today we are back with another fact video. This time we are talking about the boy Mecha Naruto. We got eight facts about Mecha Naruto. If you guys are excited about today's video, make sure you hit that like button. If you guys would like to support the boy, the psycho pet that is known as Stats, his channel link is in the description below. You go ahead and check him out and subscribe over there. Now, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let's get it. Whipping all this double bit of drop out. Number 8. The numbers in its forehead protector is a play on Naruto's name with the numbers 7, 6, and 10 corresponding to one syllable. Thus being the Na from Nana, the Ru from Roku, and the To from Ju. Number 7. Kishimoto designed Mecha Naruto and its Kurama base form specifically for Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm Revolution. At the 2014 annual Jump Festa, Kishimoto stated he requested to create an original character for the game, and that his idea of Mecha Naruto was because he liked Godzilla, and just like Godzilla, Godzilla had a counterpart which was mechanical, aka Mecha Godzilla. So I see you right now. Why everybody in Japan got like this obsession with Godzilla and shit? Like, what the hell? I'm not trying to be like, you know, a stereotyping person, but shit. Number 6. In the game, Tsunade states Mecha Naruto was created by a certain someone as a weapon of destruction to rule the world. Mecha Naruto eventually went berserk and killed its creator. Mecha Naruto refers to its creator as Professor. After that, it reveals that it lost its memory because of an incomplete mental stone that is inside of it. Mecha Naruto seems to be smart and a strategic fighter. It dislikes and mocks Naruto for looking like it and stealing its name. It thinks that Hinata Hyuga has a beautiful heart and listens to whatever she says. Because unlike my man, well I can't even say that anymore because my man got in there, but before he wasn't trying to get in there. And you know, Mecha Naruto was like, shoot, you ain't gonna get in the mm hmm I'm gonna get in that mm hmm little, little, get some of that Orlando Brown magic in there, you feel me? Number five, by coming within a certain distance of Naruto Uzumaki, Mecha Naruto could absorb the Nine Tails chakra regardless of countermeasures to keep the Tail Beast chakra contained. It could then use this chakra to enhance its own abilities. Neji Hyuga also noted that Mecha Naruto is in possession of an eight trigram seal meant to contain Kurama. Number 4. Mecha Naruto was vastly skilled in Taijutsu and was able to defeat several Konohagakure shinobi, including Taijutsu specialists like Rock Lee and Neji Hyuga with ease. It also had vastly enhanced physical strength, able to effortlessly lift up Mecha Kurama. It was also incredibly fast as it was able to overtake even the speed of Neji's 8 trigrams palm revolving heaven. Number 3. Mecha Naruto was shown to be very powerful, able to toss aside Orochimaru, one of the legendary Sanin, during its initial pursuit of the Ninetales. Mecha Naruto proved to be highly adaptive and very versatile to stop any threat or defense, able to take down various and some of the most powerful Leaf Ninja with no trouble. Number 2. After gathering a sufficient amount of the Ninetales chakra from Naruto, Mecha Naruto could assume a three-tailed form on its own, granting it a tremendous burst of strength and speed. By using all of the Tailed Beast Chakra inside of it at once, it could create a Nine Tails Chakra Bomb capable of destroying Mecha Nine Tails. And like a Jinchuriki, should Mecha Naruto lose all of its Tailed Beast Chakra, he would die. Number 1. In addition to his plant like form, Mecha Naruto could also transform its body into a vehicle mode. While in this mode, its head can produce multiple blades, which then could easily slice through large trees. It also can launch these blades as shurikens in this mode. It could also provide various weapons, such as large mallets and drills, to combat 
combat its opponents. Mecha Naruto can equip itself to Naruto's body allowing the two of them to fly over the leaf village. That's actually pretty wild. To see Mecha Naruto and regular Naruto combine together and then like their efforts as a team, that should be powerful as fuck. Alright guys, so this has been 8 facts about the boy Mecha Naruto. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe for daily content. But if you guys don't know how I get down, we basically going to give our personal thoughts and our personal opinions about Mecha Naruto. If you guys have your own personal thoughts and personal opinions, be sure to leave those in the comment section below. With that being said, let's get it. Alright, so talking about Mecha Naruto a bit. Mecha Naruto is probably one of the most broken things to ever step into Naruto Storm, period. It was introduced in Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm Revolution, basically where it was a custom character for that. It later got an anime adaptation, which was filler, and it was basically one of the most broken characters slash fighters to ever be introduced to Naruto Storm 4. Now, if you guys are not, not Storm 4, but Storm Revolution, but now if you guys don't know, in the coming months, which will be next month, then fucking February, Mecha Naruto is making a return to Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm 4. Now, if you guys don't know, this guy was really, really broken in the original Storm Revolution. Now he's making a reappearance in Storm 4. I'm pretty sure if they don't, like, polish him up or clean him up, he's still gonna be one of the most broken fucking characters you've ever seen or ever witnessed. So this shit might be on the next level of crazy. So if you guys don't know, like, about uh, Mecha Naruto, you're gonna know about him now, especially if you play Storm 4. Now, overall, I like his design. I like the concept. You know, Kishimoto went with some originality. He also got a little bit of inspiration from Mecha Godzilla and shit like that. So, you know, it showed that he had kind of a, like, a Mecha, like, side of him growing up. He could have been into Gundams or some shit like that. He could have had his own little special preference depending on what animes or what Gundams or, you know, what type of stuff like that is. But you see, like, a Mecha version of Naruto that's pretty much like a duplicate of the original, but in terms of using, like, chakra plus engine technology, it can fly, turn into, like, a vehicle mode. You know, there's a lot of different things this fucking Naruto could do. And he could also just, being close to Naruto, he could completely absorb the nine tails out of naruto with like no countermeasures like countermeasures couldn't even stop him he would just straight absorb it so what if this man actually just went full rage mode on naruto how would naruto actually defeat it and then on top of him being able to defeat neji and rock lee which was some really really high level taijutsu users so easily that alone was probably one of the weirdest things i ever had to witness in like naruto history so now thinking about it it's like goddamn so what if he actually like a progress what if there was like another update to mecha naruto what if they gave him like a sage mode version you know he has a, a kayubi mode basically he goes in and gets the nine tail chakra and he turns it into his little transformation almost if he's a transformer and you know he gets all out of all fours and shit like that kind of like naruto but what if he was ever to get like a sage mode i understand there was just one when he got like a mecha the kurama mode back in his awakening form but what if he was ever to get like some type of sage mode naruto or some some kayubi form naruto which was like the sage mode naruto sage of six pass naruto basically what if he got some shit like that if he got some shit like that i honestly I would really be afraid to see that shit in action in game and in television because him being so powerful already on top of him can just easily snatch the nine tails from Naruto what could you possibly do to him if he actually just stole all the chakra from Naruto like he, there's no counter magic you can perform and then if he excels to that degree bro that might be some scary shit. And could Kishimoto be hinting that he might make a little filler, like, relating Mecha Naruto and what happened to him? Now, if you guys look into, like, the background of Mecha Naruto, it does say he is deceased. But what if somebody found his parts and, you know, rebuild him and reconstructed him kind of on some Frieza shit? You know, Frieza flying in space, we grabbed his body part, made back a Frieza. Then, you know, he came back Golden Frieza, etc., etc., etc. So, there's a lot of different options that we got here. A lot of different ways you can look at this shit. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the uh, comments section below let me know what you think about him i think he's pretty dope i think he's strong as fuck now with that being said my name is Chino Bentro. stay true and stay real hope you guys enjoyed this video check out the bro stats even though he was like weird as fuck earlier but until next time i'm out of here bye -Z. all right guys i hope you guys enjoyed today's video but this is an outro so basically what i'm going to tell you guys today is where you guys can go ahead and check out my anime flex playlist a lot of you guys have been commenting characters that i've already done and you know in order for me to get to you guys and let you guys know that the character is done i'm gonna make this so basically what you need to do is is go ahead and type in Shino Ben Trill. I like how the second thing that pops up is my intro and then Naruto. That's kind of funny. Then you go to click Shino Ben Trill, which this is me right here. Obviously, I'm that ugly ass guy on the main page of the channel. So you go ahead and click me. After you click me, then you basically what you do is you can either access it from going here to playlists, which you can go that way. And you know, you can get my playlist right here and it'd be Anime Facts You Should Know. And then you can go ahead and check out like my general playlist for Anime Facts You Should Know. So basically on this playlist, I have a variety of different like anime put into like uh, basically 
real big ass playlist where you guys can go ahead and check that out so if you guys would like to go see multiple animes and not just one you could go here but if you guys would like to just go ahead and watch like uh, a certain genre of anime anime effects you know you just click Shino Ben Trail go back to the home page if you scroll down underneath the anime effects which is the general playlist you can see Naruto Shippuden anime effects you got Dragon Ball Dragon Ball Z Dragon Ball Super effects scroll down a little bit further you got Fairy Tale as well as One Piece I do plan on extending this where you guys would have more facts and basically see more characters in different animes so if you guys enjoyed today's video you know go ahead and click that like button you go ahead and check out the playlist and right now what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go to my previous playlist which is the general anime facts you should know and I'm gonna just scroll down so you guys can like see the ones that you probably missed so if you guys see anything that you missed you know you can go back to this playlist and you go check it out so until next time bye -Z.